at 2G Tooling in Southam in Warwickshire. And of course, a few weeks ago, Chloe and myself visited Chris because you were having the Abami A machine installed. It's been installed, it's been machining, and it's been machining non-stop, hasn't it, Chris? Pretty much so, yep. Since uh, the last time you come and it's been fully commissioned, it's been pretty much flat out, morning and night. So we're going to find out today all about how it's been and what kind of areas it's opened up for you, Chris. So let's begin with the fact that you've been busy, obviously machining, but what have you been putting on the table? Mainly at the moment, our automotive work, uh, but also it's led into new areas, new aerospace work from a, a, a new customer and up to 2.9 metres at the moment already. So, already? So you're yep. telling me by having this machine so far already, it's opened up the world of aerospace to you here at 2G Tooling? Yeah, completely new sector to us. Uh, some of the parts, the next parts we've got off the new customer are only small, but they're five axis. So straight away, it's opening up a complete new sector and further potentials. And of course, with the five axis, you're getting some software coming in just to push it to its limits. Because you said you only off camera, you're only tickling this machine at the moment. You're not even close to yeah. pushing it to its limits. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, we've only really used its three axis capabilities. But next week, Hexagon are coming in with uh, a five axis post and a little bit of software for us. Do we get that? And then we'll be, yeah, we'll be proper pushing it to its capabilities. <laughs> I can feel his excitement already. I love it. And <laughs> um, what advantages and areas are you seeing that have really changed from what you were doing before in terms of are you machining parts faster, better surface finishes? Any areas you can kind of see that it's excelled in? Yeah, the surface finish is a lot better than uh, what we previously had. So that's reducing our polishing time. And also it's leading into uh, being able to set up multiple parts at the same time because of the bed size which you can see. And also we've got the pendulum uh, options where we can do pallet machining, which we're starting to see volume on our uh, volume work, which will allow us to basically get onto using the, the pallet facility. Which is quite interesting because it's not just the finished part that you're talking about, the fact that you haven't pushed it to its limits, it's the capacity and the amount of throughput of work that you haven't even touched on yet. No, I'm gonna say, next week, like we say, we've got Hexagon coming in, giving us the post, so that gives us the five axis capabilities. Yeah. So that'll push it on even further, and as well as the pendulum work. Fantastic, now how did the installation go? Because when we were here, Dugard was still installing the machine, so was it smooth? There was a few teething problems, but fair play to Dugard. They come in straight away, sorted them, put them to bed. No hassle, no bother. Brilliant, and that's what you want really as a machinist, don't you? And you know, you just, it's never always going to run perfectly no, smooth. No, anyone who's done this game knows that nothing goes 100% smoothly. But the thing is, having that backup and that confidence that it's a phone call and they're here pretty much next day fixing it, you can't ask for no more than that. I can sense the excitement from you about this machine. So you're telling me that you're getting better surface finishing, machining parts faster, you're looking forward to putting more parts on the table, opening up the whole world of aerospace because of this machine. It is, ultimately. Yes, <laughs> Um, by investing in an Abamie machine. So what would you say to anyone who maybe doesn't know about Abamie machines and would you encourage others to look and consider one of these machines from Dugard? I would say probably wait maybe a year, year and a half, let us get ahead of the game and then <laughs> certainly have a look at them. So it, basically definitely. don't compete with me. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. give us machines. a chance to get ahead. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a cracking machine from uh, our aspect so far and to be fair, as soon as we get the five axis going, I think it's only going to get better and better. 